Well, we will have such a prologue, and it shall be written in eight and six. Uh, no, no, make it two more. Let it be written in eight and eight. Will not the ladies be afeard of the lion? Ah, I fear it, I promise you. Masters, you ought to consider with yourself to bring in, God shield us, a lion among ladies is a most dreadful thing, for there is not a more fearful wild fowl than your lion living, and we ought to look to it. Therefore, we must have another prologue to tell that he is not alive. Oh. But there is two hard That's things. Girl, yeah. That is, to bring the moonlight no, into the that chamber, for, you know, pyramids yeah. and this yeah. meet by moonlight. Don't the moon shine that night in firefly? A calendar, a calendar. Look in the almanac. Find out moonshine. Find out moonshine. Yes, it does shine that night. <laughs> Why then may you leave a casement of the great chamber window where we play, and the moon may shine in at the casement. some plaster or some loam or some rough cast about you to signify wall. And let him hold his fingers thus. And through that cranny shall Pyramus and Thisbe whisper. If that may be, then all is well. Come, sit down, every mother's son, and rehearse your part. Pyramus, you begin. When you have spoken your speech, enter into that break. And so every man according to his cue. What hempen homespuns have we swaggered here? <laughs> 